Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here, my name is Reagan. So this is my beauty channel. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe down below. Today I'm going to be talking all about my favorites and I actually do have a flop from the month of April. So I'm a couple days late and getting this up there. The reason is, is honestly, I just need to like take a day off of filming. So I didn't have a Tuesday video. So here we are on Thursday and I am here to share with you just some faves. And I wanna say some of these because I realized I didn't try a ton of like new stuff. I only really tried one new brand in the month of April. So some of these are like older products that I've just really liked and I've picked up and you so yeah uh you will hear more about them as we get into them but I just wanted to tell you like maybe you've seen these in my favorites before maybe you haven't so yeah let's just roll in and start Okay, so I want to start with skincare because I've just loved this. So this is Ursa Major's Fantastic Face Wash and it smells like cedar and peppermint. It says right here. So this, I just want to make this clear, it's a gel cleanser. This probably isn't for people with sensitive skin because it does have a little bit of AHAs in it and it also, again, has that like cedar and uh, spearmint. To me, it smells like gin, which isn't a bad thing. So it reminds me of like vacation kind of because it, yeah, it just smells like gin. But I do like the cleanser. I feel like it's refreshing because of that scent. And also it is a really nice, just like non-stripping gel cleanser. And again, what I like most about it is the scent. Which gel cleanser works like a lot of gel cleansers does like foam up a little bit, but just that scent, man, like I would use this as a body wash. Like it's just different. Okay, and other skincare. So last month I talked about really liking the Alpine Beauty Beauty. This is their C cream. So this is their bounce cream. Well, I actually have switched skincare routines, so I'm not using Alpine Beauty anymore, but I did want to highlight another one of their products. I did do a whole video about them. I'll have it linked somewhere up here, but this was my favorite serum from the line. I would say that these two products together were like my standout products from the line. So this is their wild nettle and niacinamide firming serum. They also have their other that's like a vitamin C serum, but I just like this one more. It's really watery. It just feels like the hydrating serums that I look for when I look for skincare. I think it's a good one. This one also, yeah, this one is not as strongly scented. So I would think that someone who has more sensitive skin could try it out. And niacinamide is really brightening and it's great for most skin types, but yeah, this is one that is pretty basic as a serum, but I actually really like that. And then again, I really like, I think I just like their watery products. And these are two of their really like watery aloe glycerin -y rich products. So yeah, I wanted to highlight this guy. Okay, and SPF. So I actually am wearing this today. You can't tell because I have makeup on clearly, but this is Natives SPF. And this is sunscreen with zinc oxide. So this doesn't have any of like the nasties. I got the unscented. They do have a scented version. I don't think I'll be picking that up. I just would prefer to have the unscented version. Version, but it has nice sleek packaging and it's just a really good sunscreen. I don't get a white cast with it. It's available at Target and it's just one I've been very happy with. So relatively affordable, good formulation. I would repurchase it and I would even recommend it. It also isn't super tacky or sticky. It is a little bit oily, but I'll tell you guys this. I use like eight pumps on my face and my neck when I'm using sunscreen and then I use more on my like chest. So I use quite a bit. So maybe on other people, like they'd only use like four or five pumps and it wouldn't be as oily, but on me it is a little bit oily. So you can't tell now that I have like my makeup on and everything, but before I'm trying to think, it's definitely not as oily as the Mara one that I've talked about that I just don't like how oily that is. This is more creamy in consistency and texture even. So it's not as oily on the face, but just like the finish of it, it's not matte by any means, but it's also not like super greasy. So it's not sticky. It's just a good one, unscented, good for sensitive skin. Would recommend and again, available at Target. Okay, and is that all I have skincare wise? It is, it is. So I have quite a bit of makeup, but I actually am kind of gonna flip flop this and do hair and body care because and home care. So something that I have loved, 
the scent of this candle, guys. So this is Fontana Candle Co. I've talked about them multiple times. This is a newer to me scent and it's part of their spring collection. It's lemongrass and eucalyptus. It smells amazing. It fills the room. These are scented with essential oils and they actually smell good, which I've tried a lot of candles through the years that are like soy and, you know, scented naturally, yada, yada, yada. They just like, they smell good when you went like this, but like when you burn them, they just didn't smell like anything. So it's like, what's the point of this? But this actually, and it says lightly scented candle. It isn't, it actually does like fill up a room and I can smell it. So this is one I've really liked. It just smells like spa to me and I love the smell of lemongrass and I do like the eucalyptus as well. It just smells again, like spa, really fresh, very springtime-ish and I would repurchase this scent. They have some other ones and I like them too. I did a whole video, I'll have it linked up here, featuring the different scents from Integrity Botanicals, but this was like the standout one for me and even like I burned it halfway down. This is how much I've liked it. It's just really good. Okay, and then I have just one hair care. I think I've talked about this before, but eh, whatever. Um, this is Inner Senses Serenity Smoothing Cream. So this is uh, their blowout lotion for sleek styling. So I use this today and I use this basically every time that I style my hair. So what I do is I use Evolve Smart Start first as like my heat protectant and it's more watery. And then I use just a little dollop of this, I would say like a dime size amount because I do have shorter hair now, like it's like mid length. And I just start at my like tips and then I kind of like work it in and then I brush my hair through. And I think my hair looks very nice and sleek. I did use a little bit of hot tool work with it, but at the same time, I do feel like my blowouts that I do myself are just very nice and sleek. My hair looks great and my hair feels like nice and silky smooth and not heavy or anything like that. And a lot of times creams, because I have a lot of hair, like I don't have thin hair in the sense that I don't have a lot, but the individual strands are very fine. So a lot of times like creams weigh my hair down, but this one doesn't. So I've just been impressed with it. Again, I may have talked about it in favorites in the past. I haven't talked about it in the past couple months, I think, but it's a newish, newer, newish one from them. And I just think it's a really good one. And scent, it just smells fresh. It doesn't really smell like anything crazy. It just is like a fresh scent. Okay, and then this deodorant, like when I first got it, I was kind of like, and I know I've talked about this, I've been on like a deodorant journey with this brand. So, and not even this brand, this product. I actually do like Schmidt's regular deodorants, like their sticks. I think they're very effective, but they sent me these. And so I was like, okay, I'll give them a go. And I'm almost empty of this and I would actually repurchase it. So it's their rose and vanilla natural deodorant spray. So it's an air sprayer and it has no aluminum. And it says that it has 48 hour odor protection. That's a straight up lie, just telling you, but I'm gonna smell my pits. I'd say like, I'm not like 100%. I'd say I'm like, I'm okay. Like I'm not a smelly mess. And I use this at like 9am this morning. And it's I'm trying to look for I didn't bring my phone or my watch in but I I started filming at four. So it's probably like 430. And that's pretty darn good for like a non baking soda based deodorant. And especially if you're looking to wear like things that you don't want to get a white mark on, like this does not stain clothes because it doesn't have baking soda in it. So I do think it's good. Do I think it lasts again 48 hours? Hell no. But do I think it's like a good one and have I liked it enough? Yes. In the beginning, I didn't like it because I was like, this doesn't actually last 48 hours and I really wanted it to. Like I had these high hopes. But now that I've kind of gotten more used to it, I'm like, well, it is a really good one because again, when you don't want your clothes to stain or you don't want like white marks on your clothes, it's just a good alternative, especially because it is free of aluminums, parabens, like all the things you don't want in your deodorant and it's clear. So I think this is like one of the few formulations like this that I've tried. And I have tried some like spray deodorants that are like crystal and all of that based. And this one, truly actually works. So I've been impressed with it. Deodorant is very specific to every individual's like chemistry, but I do think it's worth a shot. And I've tried some in the day that are not worth a shot at all. Okay, and body products. So I have a couple. 
I think I've talked about this before, but I have really liked it. So it's the Osea, it's their Undaria Algae Body Oil. This is a very nice candy sweet scented body oil. Oh, it just smells really, really good. You'd think like with Osea, it smelled like some fresh sea, but this one, again, it smells a little more sweet, candy-like. I'd say like sweet hearts if they had like a scent, but like a little dumbed down. That's what this smells like. But this absorbs very nicely into the skin. I love a good body oil. It's just nice and lightweight. I know I've talked about it, but I don't know. I just want to talk about it again. It just is nice and absorbent and I've really enjoyed it like post shower. And then this one actually is newer to me and they do have a new shampoo and conditioner, which I've used once. So I have it. But the thing is, is I try and only wash my hair once a week. So it may be a while before I like decide if it's like a favorite or not just because I've only used it once so yeah but this is the love song nectarous body cream so I have really liked this it's very lightweight it's a nice lotion they call it a cream but I don't think it's as thick as a cream like it's a little more it's just thinner but the scent I think is what's unique it smells like their hair products but it smells very sweet and florally and it just is a different scent profile and I've really really liked it like I like how it feels I like the texture very hydrating and I'm saying hydrating because it does have a little bit of like a watery consistency and moisturizing at the same time. So yeah, and I love the scent. Again, I think that's what really gets me with it is just the scent. The shampoo and conditioner smell more spa-like. They, they have, I think, eucalyptus in it. And this is more like, again, sweet. And this smells more like their leave-in conditioner and dry shampoo that I have. Okay, and I do want to mention a flop that I unfortunately have. Um, yeah, so let's just talk about it. And then I'll get into my makeup faves because it's the only flop I have and I'm already in the body section. I wanted to love this. So I did smell it before I bought it and kind of smelling it like this. I was at Target. I was like, Mm, that smells good. So this is the Native Body Wash and it's like a collaboration with Baked by Melissa. So it's tie-dye vanilla cupcake. And when I smell it like this, again, just like a whiff of it, it's like, oh, that's nice. But then when I was using it, it smells to me more like buttered popcorn than cupcake, like than vanilla. And it just is too much. Like it's almost like Fruit Loops mixed with butter popcorn is how it smells. And I just don't like it. It's way too strong in my opinion. Will I probably continue to use this till empty? Yes, I'm just straight up. Like it works as a soap, but this body wash just, this native one. Yeah, I wanted to like it. Like I bought it and I kind of thought the packaging was cool. And you know, I thought it was like a different scent, but, and I'll tell you, I actually am just really starting to like bar soap a lot. It's not that I'm starting to, I have just been liking bar soap. This is the first like liquid body wash that I've had for a while. And it's like a big glug jug. And I'm just like disappointed with it because it just smells like, like when you're using it on yourself and you're using more than just like a whiff and it's like all up in your shower, it just doesn't smell that good. So yeah, that was a disappointment for me. Womp womp. Okay, and I have some makeup actually. So let me move this stuff out of the way and I'll pull my makeup forward. All right, because this is kind of like a borderline like body skincare and makeup product, I'll mention it here. So I did purchase the $40, this was quite expensive. This is the Auric, this is their Bare Plush Ritual Ceramide Lip Treatment. I really like this guys. So it is very expensive for a lip balm, but I must say the packaging and like the presentation and then the formulation are very luxurious. So I'm trying to get this open one second. Yeah, the second I sat, I'm trying to get this open, it opened. So yeah, that's where we are. But when you open this, it comes with this little jade spatula, which I just think is really cute and clever. And then when I open it like this, I can just dip into it and get a little bit out. And I only use a little bit and it's so moisturizing and hydrating on the lips guys it just is a beautiful light texture 
creamy, just like melts into the lips. And I like it. Again, I paid quite a bit for it. I can't 100% say in good confidence, like I would just like, this would be the first thing I'd repurchase ever. But like, I do like it and I think it's good. So I paid my own money for it. This is Samantha Ravindahl's brand. And I do think it has like unique branding. And I actually have another product from Oryx that's a favorite for the month. But yeah, I like it. I think it's good. I do like like bougie things that like maybe don't make sense to be bougie sometimes like a lip balm where you know I'm kind of like treating this one special than I would treat like a chapstick lip balm because it's pricier and it is really pretty so yeah I like it. Okay and let's just get into makeup. So I do have now this Hans Skincare Cosmetics palette and I really like the color story of it because it's different. It's also refillable. So this is their New York Nights palette and each shade is named after an area of New York City. So like Queens, Chelsea, Williamsburg, which is in Brooklyn, Tribeca, Soho, just a really, really nice palette. And uh, yeah, I would, I'd recommend it, you know? But I think it's a good color story because I get from it some decent basics like this white. I kind of wish this was maybe a little bit different of a shade, maybe a little bit deeper or something because it is very white. That's the only thing about it like but everything else I do like like they're very buttery. They blend out nicely. They have good color path and the color story is just different. Like when I use Tribeca, Chelsea and Queens together it's more of like a just like better than basic eye color palette but then also the Soho has a nice red and then Williamsburg has a nice like navy blue and again formulation's great color story is interesting I just wish this Chelsea again maybe wasn't so white it was a little bit dumbed down or something or muted down but overall I think it's a very pretty palette and yeah, I think it's pretty this is kind of corny make every night hauntastic I didn't notice that before but I liked it overall, just that was a little bit corny. Okay, and then another eye product. So I think I've talked about these before in favorites, but I just used this again in a recent video I did and I was reminded of how much I like this. So this is the Auric. This is their temper and their smoke reflect. This cream is gorgeous. And then putting the top on, which is this glitter, beautiful it's just really easy to do like a really glam eye look and yeah formulation's great this is really creamy smooth easy to work with and this glitter is nice too because it's just pressed in there and it's just easy like one and done thing to use and I've really liked it a lot and what else I have a couple of brow products yeah I have an eyeliner so let's talk about the eyeliner then I'll do brow so I think I've talked about this before. I've really liked, and hear me out, this is one of the best black eyeliners. So I did use this today. And what I like about it, it's creamy enough to smoke out, but it's also dry enough to stay on the lid and in the lash line, which is very important. So it's not even that it's dry enough, it just has like the pigment to stay in the lid and like, or on the lash line and again, be very pigmented. But what I love is the brush, like it's all in one. There's a brush on this side. So like I can rub this into the back of my hand, put some on the brush and it's almost like applying a pomade to the lash line. So it's just really versatile. I just, it's one of my favorite like black eyeliners because it's all in one. I don't have to like have a brush and the liner. I can just have the, you know, this one thing. Again, one and done, way to go. Okay, and brow products. So I do like this. I like the shade of this mostly. This is the Westman Atelier. This is their brow product in uh, clay. So it's called their Bonnie Brow Defining Pencil. So on this side, it's a thicker brow crown. So it's not like that thin micro pencil. And on the other side where I thought this was going to be a pomade because I have something similar to this but it's just a dry brush so I was a little bit just like shocked initially like I thought this was going to be like a clear brow gel or like a tinted brow gel or something it's not it's just the brush but it's nice and creamy it has good transfer the shade is like just right for my brows so that's really what I liked about it and yeah I I like it 
packaging is a little odd, but I did like it. I, you know, would put it in favorite because I do like the crown itself. Okay, and then I have a few things from Gen C because I did a whole video about them. I'll have a link up here, but these are just like my absolute favorite things from the line that I'm like, yes. So I do like the brow product. I have it in the taupe shade and it's just the right shade for me. It actually has a like... I'm very picky when it comes to brow shades. It has enough brown, red, and like a gray mix as well to it that it goes well with my hair color because as a blonde, and I can't speak for people who have darker hair because I've only known life as a blonde, things are either too red or too deep and this one is just right. And it's very creamy, easy to blend out. It's not too pomade, like gel-like or even too thick. It's like just the right consistency. So they did really good with this product and I really liked it. Their mascara, I'm not including in flops because I don't think it's a flop, but I just want to mention this like in general. Just wasn't like a fave as well. Like it just was kind of like something in between like it's fine it's just nothing to like write home about but the brow was good and then I did really like this shade of the cheek so this is apricot and actually I was reading somewhere where like apricot shades are not best for my skin tone but I actually like them like I don't know who made that rule but I I like it I think it looks really nice and it's just a really nice like peachy toned shade and it's just nice and light I do have to use a little bit of this like it's not one that I just use like a tiny pin prick like I use like you know a dot of it on each cheek to get decent pigment but I kind of like that as well like I like that I actually need to use the product and like you know it has nice wear has nice pigment when again I use a little bit more than I typically would and I like it a lot better and I think this is what I just was thinking about when I was using it then I like the Glossier Cloud paints I really did not like those <laughs> so many people like talked about those on social media and stuff and when I finally got a chance to try them I was just like these aren't that great for like the hype like Honestly, that Gen C product is better. Okay, and then I have a couple of lip products. So I did really like the Gen C Clear Gloss. I think it's a very underrated or I've heard no one really talk about Gen C, but whatever. Like to me, it's just like one of those things that this would typically not be someone's favorite, a clear gloss. So it has no real scent to it. It just is like a nice non-sticky, but like thick and coats the lips and it's very moisturizing finish and texture so that's what I like about it like it kind of feels thick like honey going on but it's not as sticky as honey would be so yeah I like that one and I would recommend it and then last but not least I don't know if I've talked about this specific one as a favorite but I really had liked this shade as I was kind of messing around and doing different looks and I included this in my like small bag big glam video so this is the Inica organic rose nude lip pencil so what I really like about this so it's a lip crown what I like about this is it's a little bit drier than a lipstick and some people might be like oh like what I prefer things that tend to be not really dry where they dry out my lips but I don't love cream super creamy at least lipsticks because I feel like they fade and they just fade away. This stains a little bit because it is a little bit drier and I feel like it holds longer because it's drier than again, something that's creamy and would transfer. So I really liked the shade of this. It's a really nice rose nude. I think it would look good with a lot of skin tones and I like the wear of it. It is creamier than a lip pencil would be, but it's drier than a lipstick would be. So it's like kind of formulation wise, something in between both, but like a fatter lip crown. Alrighty guys, so those are my thoughts. Those are my faves and flops for the month. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm always curious to hear. I always like when we share and stuff. Yeah, and let me know if anyone tried that native body wash. I just picked it up because I was curious and it just like, eh. It really was, the scent of it really was just like, yeah, this doesn't smell good. Anyway, y'all, I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.